everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we're in east glacier again but this time it's a call them all versus the mountain <laughs> you saw that last video where i introduced this uh, new uh, upcoming uh, uh, change to the ats expansion map you'll remember this is quite a hill quite a climb and quite a route out of there and we've got a b double on here so and this is a load i haven't uh taken before and i thought it was kind of interesting so why not let's uh i don't know about that front strap but uh oh well <laughs> um yeah we'll uh we'll see how we get on we're uh, let's see where are we going let's have a look at the we'll spark it up and get our information here that's only nine and a half thousand pounds so it, uh probably per trailer but um we're going to bozeman all right that should be interesting. It's 450 miles, so it's going to take. Uh, it'll be the uh, a nice Sunday run. Uh, we got to get out of here first, so let's hop in and uh, see how we do here. Brakes are off. All good to go. Now, where's our diff lock? Got it on. Okay. Now we're going to leave it on until we get out of here. Despite the warning, we're going to get. mentioned before one thing yeah I don't know how heavy this load is if it's gonna matter but I like to get myself the splitter into a high gear when I'm going on to, uh, I know I'm gonna face something steep or tricky or traction could be a problem in that way if I get where I you know I don't want to move the stick and risk getting uh, into a neutral I can just pull it back pull the splitter back and you're down a gear or half gear in a blink of an eye. I'm not going to uh, go up a gear here right now. We're just going to stay in 10th gear. And we'll, we'll kind of ramp it up here a little bit. Get the RPMs up. Not quite yet. About here. Don't want to wind the engine too high. Yeah, we do. With this load. Oh, yeah, it's handling this fairly easily. We'll try a split here. And if we had any more on, like we would have had to go down a gear. But if you haven't seen this before, it's quite something. Now, I ran off the road last time. So I'll <laughs> be a little more careful here. I went off the road lollygagging around. I went over the uh, edge of the snowbank there, and I think we had to fly back onto the road. Let's try to look down onto the lake. Now we can look. For the waterfall in the background. So, what? Uh, one of the changes that's coming is there's going to be a uh, water pickup point where you can take, like, you know, something like Bart's food grade tanker um, what was that thing was it a walker uh, down to the um, water pick up here and deliver you know fresh glacier melt ice water to Sinaptoro Mountain Brew among probably other places so that, that's pretty cool So I'll point out where that's going to be the, uh, the water pickup location. It's going to be right along here somewhere ahead of us. Uh, maybe where those trees are, I don't know. But the lake's on the other side of us here. And there will be, uh, yeah, that's a natural place where those trees are. Knock a hole in it and back, you know, back the trailer in there and use the pump and pull some nice fresh mountain water in to take to the brewery 
Pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves up a gear here again. We're in uh, an even split, so we're at the top of a, a split. And we're gonna shift down a full gear here. Right about here. Now we got a split in hand and we're gonna hit the throttle. Yeah, with this weight we're okay. Anything more we might need to might have needed that split. Uh, it's not really a good place to try and get a look. What about we just turn out the window? Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I get a bait going here. The Jake's really strong on this engine. I think, what are, the heck are we running? I forget, 30, 16, T16? Uh, I forget. Yeah, we're not done with the diff lock yet. Getting a warning. There's so many things going on with this map. Oh man, changes. You guys are gonna love it when you get your hands on it. Pretty much gotta drive your outside tire right off the road to get this thing around these corners. Got a few tighter corners coming up. Now this tunnel. This is, gotta get way left here. Kind of drag yourself through the ditch. So close to those rocks on the left. Watch that one right there. And we're good. We're out of there. All right. A handful of tricky corners to go and we're gonna be on the road to Great Falls. Got the left tire out on the, almost off the road there. You can see the truck tilt left. Little, little squirt of throttle here. Oh, the fog is coming in. Weird. I hate that. They got the no fog option on. What is with that? Oh, that's enough to cross your gonads. Another very tight corner there. And we're through. All right, we're on our way. Yeah, there's uh, happy days ahead. Oh, hey, yeah, speaking of which, uh, in the last video I had the Lost Oil Ranch on the uh, paintable version on the uh, Bart's uh, Wilson Silver Star, and I got all four ranches on that trailer now, and I put a link, or I put the mod up on my uh, Google Drive, and you can grab it from a link on my Discord if you want. And eventually I'll get it up on Truckee. But for some reason, like I say, uh, the workshop uploader doesn't like the fact that I've added a file to it, to all the BART stuff, after you can't put it in before you process the uh, skin 
on Mod Studio 2, you have to add it after. And for some reason, Workshop order, Uploader doesn't like it, so... I don't know what the solution is. Maybe I can talk to Polly about it, see if he knows anything about it. But uh, it's really unfortunate, so... It's going to be my Google Drive or Truckee. So the channel's just called uh, Goggles Google Drive on Discord. If you're on my Discord, just go in there. I just got two links in there right now, but I got a lot of stuff I can put on there. So far, there's the uh, skin pack and the Nitro Mods tire chains. Or if you're going up to that north to Alaska thing. Oh, what? Why didn't that... Did that thing again? Where I've got it in high range, but it doesn't take the uh, signal. No idea why it does that. Could be something I'm doing. Maybe I'm selecting it and moving the stick too, or too long before I move the stick. I don't know. I don't know why it does it. I don't think it's the switch. The switch seems to be pretty reliable. Exit ahead. Oops. I had my hand on the wrong part of the wheel. I had it over here. I felt the smoke. I thought it was this smoke. <laughs> Yikes. Go straight. That happens when you rely on feel. Once again through here, we're going to get the left lane. Save having problems at that right hand turn up there. Hmm, tacos. Dang. Oh, I like that Browning Trading Post. That's pretty cool. Can't remember. There, there was a movie quite a while ago, and it was about flying. It was uh, set in South America. It was back in the biplane era, and they were flying mail over the Andy Mountains. And Val Kilmer was in it, and some other guys. And one of the, uh, some of the filming, well, maybe all of the filming, I guess, was done here in Alberta. It says standing in for the Andes Mountains or the Rockies. But there was a shed, like when I used to drive, one of the routes I took, is I did a lot of stuff rural, like out in the Thule, you know, hot shots. And I would pass the shed all the time, and it was in the movie. And uh, I can't remember now what it's, but it's a shit kind of like that. It had on the side of it and on the roof written on it, Aeropostial or whatever, or however it was in the movie. <laughs> I used to go by that all the time. It was kind of cool. Oh, the diff is still locked. I'm done. Get that unlocked. That was quite a movie. So I see uh, Ironworks has a new, uh, if you've bought the Ironworks truck, there's a logging trailer, free uh, logging trailer with it now. And uh, I got to get a look at that. Let me do some more logging. Well, heck, that road right back there, we were just on. Jeez. Last video, the engine sound was a little loud, so I've uh, stepped my mic up just a little bit so I can balance that out a little. Yeah, that shed was about like that one right there that I used to pass with the from the movie. Oh, 
Oh, got the longer freight train mod in now. There goes the long train. Go Ooh. straight. I've got to, uh, oh, jeez. Got to do my uh, map load order tutorial here real soon. But you guys, what I'm running, apparently when you use ProMods Canada, you get uh, CP rail engines. And they're different than the Pro Mods ones that replaces them with the, I don't know what, <laughs> I'll have to go see. I'll have to try it out, see what it looks like. Oh, I think, I might get a light here. It happens. There we go. So I don't have the real Eaton Fuller transmission mod in the track today for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I haven't been using it. I don't know. can't remember. Anyway, I put 342 gears in it, which aren't available in the real Eaton Fuller mod. Hey, there was that train. Yeah, it's a long one. NSF. Yeah, let's watch the frame rates past here. Go straight. All this highly detailed equipment, see what happens. No, oh, all good. Go straight. Wonder if plaster. Plaster and Sons site we're going to get. Bozeman, Plaster and Sons. Hmm. Right. Not sure. I, th I think I've done with the B double. I'm pretty sure I've done all the Plaster and Sons sites. I would imagine, well, hopefully, it's. The house construction one. Wow, well, we didn't get a good look there, did we? There we go. Yeah, sitting way too far back in the seat here for the mirrors, you know, to, uh, so I don't have to turn quite as much to get the mirror. But all I get is a big dose of seat pillar here in the back of the cab. This thing is at 70. Well, that's not terrible. 1500 at 74. The limit is 70. The cars are going a little quicker than that. That might be the truck speed limit. Now, we have the roof cam. Oh, yeah. Nice engine note. Reminds me of a Cockshot 40 I used to drive when I was a kid. And uh, like harrowing and things like that, where you're just, you're, you're ripping at a pretty good pace. It had a six cylinder gas in line on it, but a fairly short stock and short muffler. It sounded really good.
No, except for the gear wind. Man, the straight cut gears in the final drives of that. And uh, yeah, I'd have your head ringing at the end of the day. Try and concentrate on listening to the exhaust and not the gear note. Had quite a howl. But they didn't build them for comfort back then. This could be another long train. Nope. <laughs> Five cars. Oh, it's a commuter. Oh, yeah. What have we got left? 180 miles. All the way to Bozeman. Hey, oh, there was a big stutter. I like Bozeman on the map, like, I mean, not, well, not on the map, in the game, like, driving through it, it's kind of picturesque, looks good. Okay, yeah, and I wonder if we're going to see the, uh, or the, uh, the other, um, uh, Montana Express getting in traffic from, uh, from the, uh, ATS expansion mod. We'll know it if we see the skin and the truck cab isn't isn't a Montana Express truck. We'll know it's a Recon's static model that uh, somehow ends up in traffic. We've been commenting on the Hell Creek Beef Jerky one for quite a while. Like I've mentioned it several times and pull up beside one and there it is. Comment on it. That's one of the static models that got active. Not so static. AI, man, it's taken over. Oh, it's a nice sounding engine at 1500.
There's a Montana Express up there. I wonder if it's mine or Recon's. Maybe I'll see the cab if we get around this corner a bit. Nope, we just missed it. It's probably from the AI traffic back. Oh, that's the other thing I should put on uh, my Google Drive, the AI traffic pack mod. Say if you go into Truckee, if you're not familiar with using Truckee. Um, like, I guess the only downside is you got to be on Discord. Or I can put a link to the... Uh, anytime I use it. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Because I always put it in the mod description. It's always there. And uh, what I could do is put the Google Drive link in there. Put it in Google Drive. And put the link to it in the video description. Instead of the usual mod link on Truckee. That's an idea. I'm curious to see the uh, difference. I'd like to run into both of the trailer skins in traffic recon's version and my version, because uh, mine's at uh, 2048 by 1024 resolution. And recons is half that at 1024 by 512. So it'd be curious to see uh, if there's any noticeable difference between the two. And if so, how much? And oh, that little daredevil flying around up there. over that little sign by the side of the road. Interesting series of backtracking and zigzagging all over the map to get to Bozeman from uh, where we were. Go all Chaparral hotshot. to go.
Well, hope your Sunday goes well, guys. And um, I know I'm gonna have a fun one. It's uh, I mentioned in the last video. It's our uh, my main car club, um, our toy run. So me and one of my kids is gonna hop in the old caddy. We're gonna go up and we put on breakfast and lunch, all for free for the uh, entrance. And um, they'll go help get set up, have breakfast, and head out to a checkpoint and a checkpoint to uh, his cars. I'll cycle around the route and uh, good time. Good fun time with uh, Cy and hang out. So yeah, since I get this uh, video rendering, I gotta go out and clean up the car. It's still like looking really good from the last uh, really big cleaning I gave it, but but it's uh, dusty. into this site. scream <laughs> I remember watching a Jeff Flaviano video way back at probably before I got ATS when I was still you know one of the first videos like I saw it first through him and uh, he was in Vancouver and pro mods and uh, I don't know what he had going on but there was those ice cream trucks everywhere <laughs> Must have turned the traffic up or something, but it was just ice cream trucks. Every third vehicle was an ice cream truck. It was hilarious. to see what's going on right. I think I've been to this site before yards, turn right. came at it from the other directions with a double low turn boy right. I think I think it's the housing one where they're building new houses well, it looks like it's gonna rain here any minute Now, once again, we've got a bunch more subscribers, and uh, well, welcome aboard. I hope you're all watching, uh, when you can, uh, Recon's videos too, because he's doing uh, quite a few videos lately showcasing parts of the uh, ATS expansion. And uh, kind of entertaining. After all the 100 yards, turn right. All that banter between he and Buffy. Turn right. Oh, what's going on here? After 100 yards, turn left. 
Oh, okay, so maybe this isn't the site I was thinking it was. So that's kind of cool having this side of it. You know, I came here a real long time ago with the uh, 521 needle nose when I just finished the Montana Express skin. Turn left. So this is, uh, oh, this could be ugly. Oh boy. Well, we'll see where they want it. See what we can do with it. You have reached your destination. I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to want it backed all the way in and around. Yep. How the heck do we get in there? Well. I think. Oh, uh, what's the best way to go? Oh, that would be cool. What if we could do that? Oh, let's try something. Okay, we're going to be doing a do -si do and a figure eight. Running around this park a lot a little bit. Let's see. Oh, we might be too long to do what I got planned. Oh, the size of that collision area. I like to be able to cut it close to things to get the space I need. Now we're going to do it here too. No. Go here. I'm gonna, actually going to run over that little bit of rubble there. I don't think it's going to do anything to the truck. Let's see. Or the trailer. Now we kind of just... Oh, what? There's a barrier there? Oh, they saw me coming. <laughs> ah, the dirty dogs. Okay. Well, that's out. Now we're going to have to try something different. We're going to have to run right over this. Oh, that's unfortunate. So now what are we going to do? I guess we got to do this again. Now we got the back trailer way in too tight. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, let's see. Just as we go over 90 with it here. Close. Okay. Got away with that. Now we're going to have to back it all the way around. And this is where my audience falls asleep. fix that right now instead of making it worse. Oh, we're going to hit that vehicle. get to go down here for a look, do we? Not really. Turning way too wide.
Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, I'm turning too tight to the building. Got more room than it looks like over there. All right. Uh, okay, get a little sooner. That guy sounds awful close for mowing grass. There's nothing but dirt around us. Oh, I'm probably still turning too tight, are we? Yep. The... Yeah, that's kind of messed up, but we do to save the day. Not a lot. I had a heck of a time in this parking lot before I seem to remember with a uh, double low boy. Not going to be able to get around the trailer in time. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Okay. We got to gotta do it right. We can't just be take, taking shortcuts here expect a good result. Let's round a little sooner. No more. There. Good. Have a trailer right there. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's not bad. Thought we're going to hit that trailer. No, no, I did the wrong thing again, twice in a row. No, Billy boy. I give it, there we go. We'll take it. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of fooling around. Sorry about that, guys, but... um. There we are. We're at, uh, that was an amazing trip. This whole deal here. That's something. So that water, where were we? Went up here, the big climb down. The lake's over there. Water's going to be right here picking it up. That's going to be really cool. So I think, um, can imagine some skins coming up for the, uh, what's that? Ice Mountain, Ice, Ice Mountain water company or whatever I, uh, recon says it's a pretty big deal down in the states it's everywhere so uh yeah we'll uh get a skin together for that oh fairly good money for delivering trees i say we're a little early in the construction phase to be taking trees here to be honest but oh shoot i forgot to take a photo oh darn it I'll have to just fly back up there, stage one, or just take a picture of the truck here or something. But uh, as always, guys, appreciate you following along. And once again, thanks to all the new subscribers and the returning subscribers. I appreciate you uh, very much. And uh, just great. And uh, oh, what can I say? Well, thanks. And uh, catch you on the next one. Take care. And bye for now.